Hi everyone, my name is B, and welcome to my channel and my very first YouTube video. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm so excited to be sharing my life with you all. I do see this more being, I don't know, I suppose more of a, a vlog style channel to be very honest with you. Just day to day life, trying to find those bargains, what I'm up to. I just, I do see it more being that style. So please be sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with everything and like. Uh, and please do as well, feel free to comment down below anything you'd be interested in me doing and uh, what type of content you guys would be up for. For my first video, I really just wanted to do a sit down, get to know me, um, almost like a first date, I suppose. By the way, who loves that program? Just so you can get a better idea of who I am, probably what I'd be up to on a day-to-day -day basis. Would you vibe with me? Would you find my voice annoying? Let's be real, I watch my videos back and I think, do I sound like that? Because I'm sure I don't sound like that in real life. But, you've got to work with what you got at the end of the day. So with all of that said, let's get straight into it and 10 facts about me. So number one, my real name is not B, which is not ideal to start off with, a bit of a forward moment. Uh, but it is Bethany. So B is just a nickname. Basically, when I was like three, I think I just turned around and said to my mum, like, mum, don't call me Bethany anymore call me B um, and it's stuck like 22 years later uh, people still call me B all my friends and family call me B I went to high school and primary school and I think most people didn't even realize my real name was actually Bethany most people just thought my name was B so that's exactly how people know me um, as I've got older I've kind of stopped introducing myself as B and I have kind of been sticking more with Bethany and of course that gets shortened down to Beth, which is absolutely fine. Um, but all my loved ones really just call me B and I, I just feel like a B more than a Bethany or a Beth. Fact number two, I live in Dubai. Um, it's a bit of a story time. So I was born and raised in the UK. I was actually, well, I, I am from um, the kind of Norfolk, Suffolk, Cambridgeshire area, so East Anglia. I suppose my, I was brought up more in Norfolk, but my postcode was actually Suffolk. So it just shows how close that they all were, all those three kind of regions. It's not region, it's county. So it just shows how close all those kind of counties were. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where I was from. Um, and then three years ago, moved out to Dubai, absolutely love it um the original plan to be honest was just yeah we'll do three years and then we'll come back enough money just to put down like a deposit on a house or something um but the longer we're out here the more we absolutely love it and i don't see myself coming back to the uk anytime soon so i'm kind of like living that expat life so i just thought that's another reason to kind of share with you guys just how different things can be out here too number three so just a quick one, I'm 25 years old, so I was born in May, 1995, Taurus life. Yeah, not really much else to that one. Fact number four, I am married. Chloe? So we met on Instagram, uh, moved out to Dubai with each other, and then last December, we actually went to Las Vegas and got married, and it was the most incredible experience. I was never one who wanted to have a big white wedding, very traditional. Um, if I were to ever get married, I always wanted it to be very intimate, and it was just absolutely perfect, exactly how I'd envisioned it. It was like a wedding and a honeymoon all at once, really. Um, so we just added that on to go back home for Christmas. And that was just incredible. Shania Twain was doing her residency, so we got to see her. Um, I'm obsessed with Shania, I absolutely love her. Always have done since I was about three. Um, so that was a dream come true to, to see her. It's David Copperfield, we literally saw a different show every single night and we stayed at the Wynn in like one of the really nice rooms, top floor. It was just the most perfect experience. So the money we would have used on a wedding, we actually just used on having a really good time. And for me personally, that was just like perfect, um, so so happy. So yeah, so we live out here together. 
Also, another thing that people do ask us is, you know, will you guys be having children now that you're married? In fact, a lot of people thought that we just got married because I was pregnant. No, is the short answer to that. No, we don't plan on having children anytime soon. We're absolutely just loving still being in each other's company. I think there's still a lot for us that we want to do personally um, and as a couple before we then introduce, you know, another human being into that. That's not a light decision to take. Um, and we're absolutely fine as it is. And I can say that if you think, oh my God, is she pregnant? No, I just eat a lot, okay? This is not a pregnancy belly. I'll be the first one to announce. It's food. Fact number five is Chloe, who very rudely actually interrupted halfway through when I was trying to talk about Ollie, which is not fair. Um, but yeah, she is our little, our little angel, to be honest with you. She, it's actually quite a sad story. So we were living in an apartment in a little studio when we first moved out here. And then we were very fortunate enough to then move into a villa. Um, so we like live on the outskirts of Dubai. Um, we absolutely love it. I'm from the countryside myself. So the whole hustle and bustle of the city wasn't for me to be very honest with you. Um, and like you can get a villa on the outskirts of Dubai for the same price as like a studio in the main areas of Dubai and that is wild. So we absolutely love it. We have a lot more space than what we normally would. Um, and when we moved in, Chloe just kind of was at our front door. We were sitting down watching TV one night and she started meowing. And we were like, what on earth is outside? And it was her and she, we opened the door, she ran straight in, laid on the sofa and it was like she'd always been here. So I'd done a bit of research, I'd done a bit of like investigating, um, you know, there's some Facebook community groups um, here. So I was posting in there like, has anyone lost their cat? She's so friendly. She's like the friendliest cat I've ever met. She just kind of joined us on the sofa. Uh, and unfortunately it was really sad. So she did have previous owners and apparently they just abandoned her. So she, people in the community had been very nice and been feeding her um, for those few months. Cause I mean, she literally couldn't have been any older than a year old when we first moved in. So she was still pretty much a kitten. Um, so they must've just had her when she was cute and then and, and left when she got a bit older, unfortunately. Um, and that was it, we never looked back. She is honestly the friendliest cat I've ever met. I am not a cat lover under any circumstances. I've always been a dog person. However, she's converting me. I absolutely love her. She is an indoor cat now. Long story short, she's a feisty one, so she likes to get in fights. It's very expensive on the vet bills. So we were like, right, the vet and us decided that it's best she just stay inside. So she's like a dog, so we take her out for a walk uh, during the day. She just likes to sit outside and watch birds, to be honest, and that's absolutely fine. She has a little lead. I never thought I'd be that person who walks their cat on a lead, um, but apparently I am. Um, we've also semi-adopted, like not officially, there's two strays out there as well and we literally absolutely love them um so we feed them and give them water the only thing is chloe does not get on with other cats so we couldn't possibly have them in the house also they are a lot more feral than chloe ever was so to be inside for them is is very scary they don't like being within a closed room so if i close the front door they'll like freak out, jump out windows, try and escape. So they really, really aren't meant for the indoor. So, you know, we do what we can, but if you ever see them, that's who they are. We're not being cruel by not letting them in the house. They just don't really like to be inside if the door's closed. So Chloe is literally like our, our child. That's not an exaggeration. She has her own room. So I've made sure it's all beautiful and pink for her. Um, and she like literally just absolutely dominates the house. This is her, her house essentially. We're the ones that are squatters. This is Chloe's house. What she wants, she gets. And we are absolutely fine with that. She rules the roads. So fact number six, I actually got into YouTube when I first moved out to Dubai. I just found that I started to really miss little bits and bobs of the UK that I never thought I'd miss. So that's when I started finding myself like watching Primark hauls um, and just generally trying to find people in the UK who were vloggers, just 
just so I could see their day-to-day -day life and be like, oh my God, a petrol station that looks like this. Oh my God, Tesco, Asda, da da da. So I just, that's what I really miss. So that's how I got into YouTube and I'm absolutely obsessed with it now. Um, I kind of wish I'd started this earlier, maybe three years ago. Hey ho, you live and you learn and hindsight's a fab thing. But you know, I'm giving it a go now. So that's how I got into it. So I'd like to think this could be another one of those communities just so it's nice just to hear a, a familiar voice i suppose or if you guys ever did want to come out to dubai and you were like that looks really cool would you give that a go go visit there there's still so many things that i have not done in dubai there is something new pops up every weekend so i'd be more than happy to find out more you guys if you've done your research probably know more about dubai than i do um so i'd be more than happy to do those things but that's why it's really i, I, I love that youtube community i think as long as you get it right there's some amazing people so i'd love to just share my day-to-day -day experience with everyone um so you guys can see a bit of that too. Maybe if you're sat and it's raining, you think, do you know what, fancy being in Dubai today? Just watch my vlogs, just watch my videos. You'll basically be there. Fact number seven, I come from a large family, I suppose. Um, a very large, close family, which is great. Um, so I'm one of three girls and I'm the middle one. But I'm very close with all my cousins, first cousins, second cousins. My nan's like one of eight or nine, I actually lost count. And um, so we're very close with all of like her siblings, all of their children, all of their children. The family's very big and I absolutely love it. And of course now as well, I of course class my husband's family as my own as well. So to have such a lovely tight-knit family I'm extremely lucky for um, and you know it's very exciting so when I get to go see them at Christmas it's also more special wow. Chloe's just playing with a hairband I mean she has a hundred toys but a hairband's on the floor is what she wants to play with right now stay humble <laughs> I'm also really close with my grandparents so when I get to see them it's really special but I FaceTime with a lot of my family anyway, so my mum in particular, we FaceTime on her days off. My nan and grandpa, I FaceTime, you know, whenever they're around. So they got FaceTime during, you know, shut down during Corona. So I'm so happy that I get to see them now um, and have those video calls. Do you mind? I'm trying to do something. number eight I used to be semi Bebo famous I suppose that's fair to say so I used to um, make skins edits and it would be like yeah if you give me five love hearts or whatever then I would do like edits and stuff I never accepted money I always just like the love to be honest with you um, so I used to do that and I actually got one of my two two of my skins featured so you know they were the good old days so yeah, semi Bebo famous was never quite there fully, but I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Do you mind? They're Arabian males, by the way. She, Chloe's an Arabian male, so they're like the desert, the Middle Eastern common cat, to be honest with you. And they are so vocal. Like Chloe speaks all the time. So um, she may not shut up during this. Fact number nine, I love food, okay? I'm just gonna put it out there. I am a foodie. I've had my journey with fitness life. I lost loads of weight and was like gym lover. And then I moved to Dubai and I found the food. Oh my God, the food out here is unreal. Cause you have the best of both worlds. Like you've got whatever cuisine you have, out here. Dubai is such a cosmopolitan place. It's so diverse, so multicultural. Every single petrol station has a fast food. Now, whether that be McDonald's, Burger King, whatever that may be. There's a Hardee's, which is American. Actually, I think in America it's Carl's Jr. I think it's just Carl's Jr. But anyway, so it's called Hardee's out here. Popeyes is out here. Cheesecake Factory is out here so 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 many different things and if you like like i really want authentic 
Italian, authentic Greek, Lebanese food, it's all out here. Like there's so, so many different places to eat and I absolutely love it. Their desserts are huge. Also the portion sizes are more like America and the portion sizes are very big out here. Fact number 10, I love a bargain. Everyone that knows me knows I love a bargain, okay? So uh, it's taken me three years in Dubai to finally find my Dubai equivalent of Poundland, okay? I do plan on doing a haul there or at least showing you guys around because if you plan on coming out here just as a tourist and you want some knickknacks to bring back to your family and friends, don't buy stuff at the expensive places. I can tell you exactly where to go for that one. Okay, heads up, it's day to day. And anyone that knows me out here knows my love for day to day because they have everything. So that is my equivalent of like Poundland. Um, then also, then I've kind of found my Primark equivalent. Um, the clothes generally aren't as nice as Primark, but it is within the kind of same price range roughly. Um, so that's quite a good one as well. And just loads of like other little bits and places. I just love finding a bargain. So lucky out here as well that there are markets and, and stuff. So you don't just need to go to the high street shops. There's loads of cool independent places as well. Um, but you know, there is that stigma that the buy is expensive. It's only as expensive as you want it to be. You can do Dubai on a budget. I mean, it's not really an extra one, but just to add on to that, I am obsessed with Mrs. Hinch, okay? So I've currently, I'm over the moon because Sephora is now being sold in the UAE. It used to be, but it was 40 pound for a bottle, 40 pound. I love Sephora, but I'm not paying 40 pound a bottle for it. Like literally one that big. Um, but they're now selling it out for the equivalent of seven pounds. A bottle and that doesn't sound amazing but trust me that's something I'm actually willing to pay um, so I'm fine with that one normally when I go back at Christmas I go to B&M and I bring it all back in my suitcase I will do anything for a bargain so this for instance this duvet set and that pillow there B&M I brought that back in my suitcase. I squished all my clothes in my hand luggage, all my shoes in my hand luggage. And in my main suitcase were two duvet sets. So I brought this one, that cushion I put in there as well. I was determined to put a cushion in there. Um, and then as well in Chloe's bedroom, the pink like velvety velour type material, she has one as well, similar to this. So I also had that in there. I was so, so certain that I was going to do that. Also, there were so many bottles of Sephora that I had for myself. Um, a dishmatic, new sponges. Um, what else did I pick up from B&M? Oven gloves. Um, oh, toilet blocks. Literally, my actual <laughs> suitcase was just full of stuff from B&M. And then my hand luggage was was actually my clothes so that's everything really i mean just the basics but you know if you decide to subscribe then you know you might find out a bit more um but that's just roughly just to give you a bit of idea just who i am if you think oh well, yeah she's interesting or yeah i'd be interested in seeing what she's up to then subscribe i do have some an exciting trip uh Plans, which I'm very excited to so I do plan on vlogging that one um, I do also want to do like a, a kind of showing you guys the different sides of Dubai as well the likelihood of you seeing me with this much makeup on again it's pretty slim I think this is the fourth time since March I've actually worn a full face of makeup um, it's too hot is the honest truth um, it is like 40s out there right now 40 celsius plus um but it's so humid it feels like if you look on your phone it feels like 55 yesterday it felt like 55 celsius like that's mad as soon as you walk outside my face is just going to be an absolute sweaty mess and then you wear a mask as well so when you take the mask off you're just going to have like a sweaty face underneath and that's not a cute look so i'm better off just looking like a 12 year old girl and uh you know just go bare face maybe i'll put on a bit of eyebrow or eyelash you know maybe i'll just put a bit of mascara nothing major but i do love makeup when i do it but it's just so 
so so rare at the moment it's just too hot but yeah we have a, a lot of exciting things coming up and, and planned so you know I absolutely love to take you guys with me and you know show you what it's like living out here just give you a bit of an idea thank you so much if you've managed to stick around to the end of the video I appreciate it so much you know hopefully this is just one of many and everyone has a starting point so you know hopefully can carry this on with that yeah please do feel free to like subscribe do what you gotta do um, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one bye